Watch your man, I give you no break. Not to even your eyes, you're not giving you no breaks. Hey, hey, bad boys, bad boys. Bad boys. Oh, what you gonna do? Oh, what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Oh, what you gonna do? is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Okay, we're uh, serving two search warrants tonight at uh, two known crack houses. What we want to do is come off of Fillmore, up the alleyway north, and we'll get out of the van in the alley. You guys will go ahead and hit your front door, and we'll go ahead and hit our front door simultaneously. We'll have uniforms cover the back. Um... We don't uh, anticipate any problems. There's no known weapons in these locations, right, Art? This is going to be the White House is just off the alley, right by the corner, and it's all going to be like one building, one front door is 509, the other one's going to be 511. This right here is a long court here, John. <clears throat> okay. Chris, are you going to do the ram on our, our place at uh, 509? Okay. I'll do the ram on 511. Okay. Let's go. So we're going to go to 621st, right to the back? Okay. All right. You want me to take anybody in my car? Or everybody's going to be squared away in a ride. Yeah, you guys are all going to the van, right? Okay, we're going to go serve a search warrant in a crack neighborhood, just right right by our main police station here. These guys who we're going to be riding with tonight's our street crimes unit, and uh, they do a lot of good work down here. We're supposed to be selling a lot of crack out of here. That These guys have been out of surveillance the last two days, and they said they've been real busy in the morning and real busy in the afternoon, so we're hoping to hit them just right. I love search warrants, you know that? Especially in the neighborhood. George, 23. Okay. Here we go, right here. Two suspects in custody. Okay, we got approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about ten, forty, fifty dollar rocks. Torio, si que la acompañe durante el interrogatorio si usted lo desea. Si usted no tiene los fondos para pagar un abogado, tiene derecho a que el tribunal nombre uno para representarle antes de que se le entregue. Entiende usted estos derechos? Sí. ¿Qué es tu nombre? Actually, uh, they hide dope or money anywhere with inside these premises, and then last year they can make it look the uh, more they know that we won't look for it. These two places that we just hit are kind of uh, working together. You know, people are buying over there and they're buying over here too. Looks like these guys might be rocking it up over here and giving it to the guys next door to sell it. Just uh, found an undetermined amount of money underneath the uh, matches here, along with. Uh, a transfer, money transfer from Mexico. So apparently they were transferring money from Phoenix to Mexico. This is only worth for uh, three hundred dollars, but apparently that's how they're getting their money out of here by taking it to Mexico, transferring it to Mexico. It looks like a pretty good sum of money, and the search continues. Looks like about an eight ball, probably. But uh, they're definitely smoking it up in here. That's a nice big one. Uh, you got a big old pipe to smoke that one. <laughs> well, both places all together, we came up with about a half ounce of cocaine, half of it being the rock and half of it being the powder. As we entered the one, they were starting to cook up half the stuff. So it was a good deal all the way around. So they're uh, cooking it next door and they're bringing it over here? Right. The both okay. houses were hooked up together as far as the business venture goes. And they've been creating a lot of problems for the neighborhood. So it was a good deal all the way around. The neighbors be a lot happier. Definitely. Yeah. 
we had that one guy in there tonight. He had like one arm and the other arm was attached inside his uh, stomach area. What happened to him was about two to three weeks ago, he was over here in like one of these crack houses and uh, he got ripped off and he wound up getting his thumb shot off. And I guess that's just the way they took care of him at the hospital. You know, I know I don't want to see no officers get hurt out there. And you know, I sure don't want to have to hurt no bad guys. But you know, push comes to shove. We're going home at the end of the night. And uh, you know, tonight was a good deal. Nobody got hurt on either side of the ball. You know, we got the dope, they're going to jail, and the neighborhood's better off. We're not to a family fight. Uh, just fighting verbally at this point. It's a ver verbal argument. Uh, these situations have a tendency to uh, escalate rather rapidly, so uh, we're going to go ahead and expedite to uh, get to the call. We'll This isn't the address, though. Oh, no. Yeah, what's the number here? Okay. What's your address here? What's your address here? It's not What's going on? What's going on? Huh? Everything okay here? <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? I'm going to talk to her. You okay, ma'am? This Sunday, he, he hit me. He hit you today? Yeah, okay. last Sunday. Oh, last Sunday? Yeah. Okay. Has he hit you today? Did he no, hit you? No, not today. Has he but pushed her around or hit her? Sunday, he I don't know. Did. I was listening. Well, she was sleeping and like he came and he was just like threatening her. You know. Okay. Last Sunday, he hit me. You know, he. Okay, last Sunday, he hit you, but. Is that where he hit you right there on the eye? Yeah. Okay, what did he hit you with? Looks like it's kind of a sharp object. She's all bruised. I don't okay. know what he did. I don't know. Okay, this all happened last week? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, just hang tight. I'll give you back to you in just a minute. So we don't want to take anybody to jail. You know, so that's... You know, What's the story? You bring her here. Huh? You bring her here. Okay, well, we, we want to talk to you separate, okay? So, so we'll get another conversation. You bring her over here and I'll talk to her. Listen, man, well, okay. Te quiero. Does she want to talk to him? That'll solve the problem. We're going to see if she'll talk to him. Over here. Martina, he wants to talk to you. Do you want to talk to him right now and work it out now, or do you just want him to leave? What do you want us to do? She wants to leave. I understand that. We're going to have him leave, but he wants to talk to you now. Would you like to talk to him now, or do you just want him to leave, and then you can talk to him tomorrow? Just talk to him tomorrow. Sober, okay, that's, that's fine. We'll take care of that. Over here, you gotta keep it down. Okay, that's why. That's why you're gonna leave. She just wants me gone. Okay. She'll talk to him tomorrow. Okay. She'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. When everybody's sober. So you have two choices. One. Because their daughter listen. is talking to her. Hey, listen. Listen. You're getting out of hand. Okay. You're getting out of hand. Okay. Let me step over here. Okay. Hey, Manuel. Hey. You got a problem? Okay. Manuel, Manuel, just relax. Okay. Okay. Okay, relax. Relax. Okay? We're trying to solve the problem. Check okay. Manuel. 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 Listen, listen. Manuel. Hey, Manuel. Hey, Jeff, come on in here now. Just, just relax. Manuel. Okay? Has he got any in his pockets? I don't know. Come here. Manuel. Do you want to leave? Manuel. Come on. You want to leave? Yeah. You want to leave? Manuel? Yeah. Manuel? Let's go yeah. talk about Get back, get back, ma'am. Yeah. Go, 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 go in the other room, okay? Viejo! Go in the other room. Calmate, viejo! Go in the other room, okay? Come here. Viejo! Manuel! Go in the other room. Let's go, come on. Oh, no. Come on. I'll, I'll we have to go. Him. Come on. We, no, no, no. Manuel? Outside, okay? Come on, let's go. No. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Martina, come on. Let's go. We have to go I'll now. Talk to he's he's yeah. going to start. He's going to start a fight. Come on. No. We have to go. No, we have to go. Yeah. To me. No, we have to go. We have to go, okay? Come on. Uh, Manuel. 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 to listen to me. Manuel. 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 Come on. Get out of the way. Let's go. Yeah. Martina, yeah. we'll talk to him outside, okay? We'll talk to him outside. 42. 42, right? Come on. Come on. Come on.
Just back. Just run back. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's go. Got him. Hey, relax. I'm not kicking, you man. Calm down. Listen. Calm down. You're gonna, you're gonna hurt yourself, right? Stop kicking. Okay. Let's go. I'm not gonna hurt him, man. Ted, good point. Hey! Get in there, Manuel. Have a seat. Have a seat. Watch your head. Have a seat, Come Manuel. On. Manuel. Yeah. Pull your legs in. Yeah. Yeah. Kick the car, Manuel. He's hobbling. He's got a hobble. Yeah. You got a hobble? I got, I got the hobble. Manuel, stop kicking. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Once you go around, open the other door. That's okay. Okay, ready, tap. A little more. Tonight, had we talked to both sides and just just leave. Uh, there would have been a, a much larger problem than what we had. You know, he fought with us, and, and we were able to handle it. But you know, if uh, if he if we'd have left, and uh, uh, he probably would have continued fighting with with his wife. So I think it turned out uh, uh, for the better uh, for for the wife and for the husband. Uh, he's in a controlled environment uh, now. Uh, at least for the night, he'll be in jail, and the wife can at least sleep uh, peacefully tonight uh, without having to worry about uh, someone you know fighting with her. If I wanted to be liked, I would have been a fireman, you know, but it's like, you know, I want to become a cop for a reason. You know, and I think, you know, as long as you do work and you treat people good, you treat people how they should be treated, they're going to respect you. You know, I don't really want to be liked, but I just want to be respected. I try to pe treat, treat people how I treat my own brothers or sisters or my own friends. You know, just, just treat them with that respect straight across the board. It's a lot easier to, to establish the communication with people. Maybe a kidnapping. Switch to three at 1920. 53 Sam to three. Going on. We got an unknown trouble right around the corner here. A possible kidnapping. Okay, 1701 is going to be this house right here on the corner. Oh, I think park in the front of the house. Let me go. What's going on? Who is this guy? I don't know. He just grabbed all of us, pulled us into the car, wouldn't let us out. We tried to get out, but we couldn't. What, what type of car was it? It was a white, uh, white uh, four-door car. He, it was a Mexican guy. He was a heavy set. Okay. Is she? She's passed out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. She breathing? Yes, she's breathing. She's breathing, right? <laughs> Breathe him. <laughs> Talk to her. Talk to her. Help bring her around. Talk to her. I'm out of one East Monta Vista. We're going to have like an attempt 491 out here. Can you go ahead and roll fire? I got one of the subjects passed out because she was grabbed by the throat. Stand by for a suspect description. Fifty-three Sam on three. Fifty-three Sam, ten four. Fifty-three Sam, I'm twenty-three at one East Monta Vista with your unknown trouble. Okay. 
This is going to be an attempt 491. Can you roll fire? I'm going to have a subject down. She was grabbed by the throat. Stand by for a suspect description. 53 Sam, they're in route. 53 Sam, vehicle's going to be a white four-door smaller car with a blue interior with two baby seats, unknown plate. Last known direction of travel is going to be eastbound on Monta Vista from 17th Street. Suspect's going to be a Mexican male, heavy set, 30 years old, wearing a blue shirt and blue jeans. You're okay. supposed to be meeting my husband and her when I was at Kmart. Okay. She was grabbed by the throat, attempt kidnapping, is the way it's coming out. Who do you live with up there? My aunt. What happened? Six Are you hurt anywhere? Okay. How old's Donna? She's 19. She's talk 19 years old. Talk to me. Can you let us in here so we can take a look What's your name? Hey, why don't you come on over here and talk to me, ma'am? What's your come name, Come on over here. Oh. Donna, D-O-N-N-A. Donna, D-O-N-N-A. Okay, she's, she's your sister's, right? Yeah. She's my little sister. So what are you girls doing in the neighborhood down here? We were walking to Kmart. We are supposed to meet my husband and her boyfriend at Kmart. Uh-huh. And we were walking down, and this guy pulled over, and he grabbed us and put us in the, put us into the car and everything. We kept trying to get out, yelling. Did he put you in the front seat or the back seat? The front. The front seat? Okay. And when he let us out, we finally got, got the door open, and we had the door open. I had my foot stuck in the door. Uh-huh. And he just kept on cruising real fast. Uh-huh. And shut the door now. Shut the door and not get in now. Uh-huh. And when I started to hit him, he pulled in the here and grabbed her by her throat. And where, started, where did he pull into? This lot right over that, here. That dirt lot right yeah. over there? Okay. And he grabbed her by her throat me and he was hitting on me and I was trying to get him away from his throat. Uh -huh. Finally he let go and uh -huh. I pulled on her and ran over here. And, and you both and you both got out of the car. Yeah we finally the door. both got out. Okay. And he okay. backed out started this headed this way when we ran over here and said help please help call the police I had sore. Police officer's gonna go ahead and have you you gonna go meet her down. Yeah I'm gonna take her down there. Get to get her next to Ken. I'll meet you there, sis. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take you over to Kmart, get your husband, get get her boyfriend, then we're gonna give you right over to County Hospital. I'm gonna need you to go over to County to meet your sister. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna ride with me tonight, and they're just gonna have to meet us over here, okay? Okay. Okay, and we'll, we'll get we'll get you taken care there's of. Stand, there's her boyfriend standing up against the wall right there. That's her boyfriend right there in the white shirt. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you come on over and talk to me for a second? Where's John? Huh? John is in the hospital. Where's John? What? That, this guy pulled us into his car and started trying to hurt us and everything. Then he grabbed her by her throat and hit me. And She's going to be all right. She was unconscious at the scene. She's over at County Hospital. We're going to go over there and check her out. We're going to take little sis over with us because she's going to need to get looked at, too. Where's John? He went down the street. Is he going to be back soon? Tell you when he gets back, tell him you guys to meet us over at the county. Okay, she's going to be by she, the Phoenix Fire took her over there. She's going to be treated in the emergency room. We're going to take Sis here over there to stand by with her. Okay, we're going to get the further statements over there so you guys can just meet us over there. All right. Fair enough, County Hospital? Yeah. 2601 East Roosevelt? All right, thanks. Bud. Hurry okay. Up, Junior. Fair enough. Basically, what we had here tonight was a kidnapping. But the thing about this is, last night, we had a sexual assault kidnapping that occurred about seven blocks from here that had the same suspect description and the same suspect vehicle. Uh, I don't know. I, I just kind of got the feeling that this might be, re might be related. So the girls went to the hospital. Luckily, there's going to be no serious injury. Uh, and they're going to be kept there tonight. And uh, we're just going to take this position and write the report. Hopefully we're going to find them because, I mean, this is twice in two nights, you know, same suspect, same vehicle. You know, we're talking about a nine-block difference here in the neighborhood, so we're going to need to catch up with this guy. We're going to have a problem out here. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. Okay, we'll still send a code 3.